There is a group of artists that not only make beautiful pieces of art to share with the world, but uses that gift of creating to help in the efforts to feed hungry people. The Southern Arizona Clay Artists is a venue for those interested in creating with clay. Board of Directors President Jana Krellen Ahern is here to tell us more. How are you? Hi, good. I'm great. Thank you for joining us and, and tell us about some of these beautiful pieces here in they front are of us. Beautiful. These are amazing. Oh, thank you. They're created by Southern Arizona Clay Artist members. We work in all different work with clay in all different ways. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's easy. Mm -hmm. um, the longer you work in it, the better you get at it. But it's all a universally a universal media that we've all used. We played with clay in school and mm -hmm. So as you get older and, and get a little more time in school, you want to play with clay some more, and our artist makes some beautiful pieces. Now, I played with clay in school, but it never, <laughs> it never, looked, it like never that. looked like this, <laughs> I, I promise. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about the mission. The mission, uh, well, the Southern Arizona Clay Artist is a group of clay artists and enthusiasts who have gotten together and try to promote clay in the community. We try to educate. We also, one of our main missions is working with Empty Bowls, and Empty Bowls is a grassroots effort to help feed the hungry. And the premise is that we would, the artisans of Tucson would make bowls that are mm -hmm. sold, sold at Empty Bowl events. And it's so that you can try eating food out of a bowl like you would in a soup kitchen. You donate $10 or $15 for your bowl, and you get to keep your bowl after the event. Ooh. That way, well, you have an empty bowl, and you get to see what it's like to always have an empty bowl or not be, have the food you need. So there's, there's a, an artistic side of this, and there's a charitable side of that as well. Yes, there, that is. And we That's really amazing. enjoy giving back, and I believe that we give back because we have the privilege of doing clay. And so do you make all of the bowls? All of the artisans and craftsperson people in Tucson do. Um, Marjan's, our local clay store, donates the clay to different studios and different people, and then they create wow. the bowls. Some events are two or 300 bowls. Some events are 11 or 1,200 bowls. Oh, wow. And it oh just depends. Goodness. And we help three different um, uh, uh, food banks here in town, and there's one in Sierra Vista also. So. So we're, we're talking about all these beautiful things, and you're talking about playing with clay, but I know this is not how it starts. If I've never done this before, how do I, how do I start? Well, you could take a class. Um, I, that's mostly what happens here in town. There's, I would say, eight or ten public studios where you can take classes in park and recreation departments, people's private homes, um, different places like that, and you would just start with a lump of clay, and we all have a little bit of experience with a lump of clay, and I think you can just take it one step further and take a class. Wow. Some of these pictures are just amazing. Yeah, they really are. Right, right. How do they become so intricate? <laughs> I mean, is that just all different colored clay? Wow, look at, look at this. Isn't that wonderful? The feathers on that bird, it's amazing. <laughs> There's all kinds of things you can do with clay that are just unbelievable. Mm -hmm. If you just take a little time to play with it, it's very forgiving. You could make an accident, make something really bad, squish it, and start all over again. I like that. So. Yeah, right. I think I'd be doing a lot more squishing than I would be making. I think so, too. <laughs> and, and we're talking about the art itself, and it looks to me that when we're talking about the clay, it's more than just that it's the decorating and what you do with it afterwards as well. I mean, some of these, the colors are amazing. Right, and, and a lot of these people have had a lot of experience working with clay and trying different colors. We make a lot of mistakes. Mm -hmm. I probably make... I don't know, seven or eight hundred pots a year, and I would say maybe fifty of them were not mistakes, you know? Okay. So I don't save everything I make, and that's the good thing about clay is you can recreate it. And you mentioned that you make all of the bowls. Mm -hmm. How long does a bowl take you? Because, oh. I mean, to me, I'm like, okay, if they're cranking out 1,100 to 1,200, and I know that's right. all around Tucson, right. but that's a lot of bowls. Well, there's different ways to make bowls. Some of them are like with a slab of clay, like you see here on the table. Okay. You just would take a slab of clay and put it over a, a form and let it harden. Okay? Oh, okay. So that's one easy way. And then there's other ways people who have learned how to throw can throw many bowls at one time and, and create maybe 300 at a time. Then we pass it out to other people to glaze. So we all work cooperatively to create the bowls. It's not always just one person making okay. the bowls. So there's all different groups that are doing it's it. It's almost like an assembly line. <laughs> kind do your, of. Do your part. Well, do your part and then, and then pass it along. Correct. And then if now, again, I'm, there's, I don't think I can make any of this kind of stuff, but if, I, but if I wanted some of it, talk about buying locally made pottery. Oh, Southern Arizona Clay Artist has um, several shows that they do throughout the year. Um, we have one um, coming up that is just our emerging artists and showing off their work and how they're growing, and that will be at the main library. And then we're also always part of the Tucson Museum of Art Artisans show that they have in November and in March. And um, we are right next to the front door, so you can see our work and you can buy our work. Also, 
if I would venture to say that any pottery or coffee mug you might have bought in Tucson would be something that a Southern Arizona clay artist member was somehow involved in, either in a teaching studio or helping you fire a kiln or things like that. So we're all over the place. And do you specifically hold classes? Yes, I do hold classes in Northwest Tucson. Okay. Um, I teach the basics, throwing, sculpture, hand building. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's the best classes ever. I have the best job in the world. Your face is <laughs> so really face lit up. Well. And, and again, with this kind of product, how could you not? I know. And you've uh, mentioned throwing twice. What throwing. does that mean? Throwing is where you take a lump of clay and you throw it on a spinning wheel and you create something Ooh, like out a of ghost. it. Oh, oh, like a ghost. Oh, yes, okay. Yes, I'm sorry. If I come to some of the classes, is a hunky man going to be oh, behind me? I hope so. <laughs> like, yes, I hope so. Me too. Tita, thank you so much for joining us oh, today. Thank this you for was this wonderful. Opportunity. And they are beautiful. beautiful. Pieces. Absolutely. Oh, thank you so much. To learn more about taking clay classes at venues all over Tucson, you can call 870-0823 or going to their website, southernarizonaclayartist.org. That number again is 870-0823 or southernarizonaclayartist.org. Coming up on the morning blend, we'll have a live performance from the Desert Drummer. Check it out right after this.